On April 1st, 2021, I ditched a career I absolutely hated to better myself and do the things I've always wanted to do. And that included my growing love and obsession with Ireland. I want to learn everything. Culture, history, mythology, music, and the language. Which, if I'm being honest, looks really hard to learn, but I'm going to give it the old Smith try. Then, of course, there is my love of pubs and the role that they've played throughout history, and no better example of that than on that beautiful, beleaguered island in the North Atlantic, Ireland. April 1st, 2026, I depart for the Emerald Isle, and for one year, I'll hike town by town and conduct interviews with pub owners, pub regulars, historians, town know-it-alls, musicians, and basically anybody that wants to talk to me. If you'd like to support the project and the journey, basic Patreon support is only three bucks a month, but just liking a video or subscribing to the channel and following the journey is just as helpful. I'm always looking for volunteers to work as liaisons for the project too, so if you live in Ireland and know people, feel free to hit me up. This is a huge goal and I need all the help I can get. The Smitty Learns Irish podcast begins April 26th and will be my life's work. Thank you. <sighs> Patron shout outs. Now that we're talking about patrons. Uh, Taylor. Taylor's a brand new patron. Um, and I dropped uh, Taylor a message and said, hey, thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. I'm trying to do that with everybody, you know, uh, more now. It was a time where I wasn't doing it, but I'm trying to be, uh, I call it notification hatred, you know, where I'm just, I hate emails and historically like at work and things like that. A lot of times I see them and I want to come back to them and then I forget. Okay. And then it's just, uh, but I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> to be better and uh anyway shooting people a message to say thank you and then uh taylor actually requested on another comment uh because taylor appreciated the biffy reactions that i do and uh, i'm gonna do another biffy uh reaction somehow some way coming up soon i'll let you know the details on that when i figure out the details on that but taylor said uh, I also think you would enjoy the Boston band Wunderbar. I don't know if yeah, if that's how you pronounce that or not. Their third album kind of reminds me of Biffy, especially Tar Tongue and Cash Money. I don't know, it was just dollar signs for that song. I didn't know if it was cash or money or what, so I went with both. One of their songs, Alien Blues, went viral on TikTok a few years ago, but they've gone pretty much unnoticed since. Okay. I think I liked the... Uh, I liked the tar tongue. I don't know. I just kind of like the name. <laughs> the way I just like that phonetically, tar tongue. Uh, so let me search real quick. I should have had this ready to go, but I didn't. Uh, Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Tar tongue. From the album Smell Smoke from 2017. Okay. It's a six minute or six minutes, 19 seconds. Uh, I know nothing other than what Taylor has told me about Tartung. Let's roll. I can hear the Biffy uh, reference in there.
so far, I mean, it's it's okay. I don't know how I feel about it, really. But I, when I say I hear the Biffy comparison, uh, like Taylor said, uh, I don't... I hear the delivery. You know, the vocals are sort of Biffy-ish and uh, how down-key it is. Because obviously, Biffy Clyro, known for their changes, I don't know if that's what Taylor's referring to or just the delivery in this moment. I don't know what it's going to do so far. Uh I don't know if anything's really grabbing me, you know, dynamic wise or something like that. Nothing really grabbing me. Oh, shoot. Sorry. A, thank you for changing it up. I, man, uh, so far, not so good. I mean, for me, uh, nothing really happening, you know, again, dynamic-wise, where I say it all the time with things I really like, you know, like impact moments, you know? Everything's just kind of there. It's not, I don't hear anything, like, super interesting for sure. Uh, uh, Vocal-wise is kind of... I don't want to say droning on, but it just seems to kind of drone on with nothing going on. The change so far, and I'm going to back it up actually a little bit so I can hear the change again. Uh, didn't really catch me either, but again, it was only like a quick snippet.
Yeah, no. It was <laughs> I I can honestly say that other than by Taylor's um uh a comparison to Biffy Clyro, I would I probably would have said, "Oh, vocally maybe it reminded me of Simon Neal a little bit." But uh, definitely dynamic wise. No, it was, you know, there wasn't really anything to the rhythm section for me, uh, even on that change and that build at the end. Uh, and especially that end bit where it was fuzzy and things and it just sounded chaotic and it just didn't work. Uh, it just, it just nothing really seemed to grab me. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to take a complete, uh, uh, dump on this song. Uh, but it was just, you know, it wasn't for me. It just didn't seem, uh, didn't necessarily seem well thought out, maybe. I don't know. Seems like a very new band, you know, which is not a knock, you know. Keep playing, though. Keep working at it. I fucking... I could see what they were trying to do, you know. Uh, just sometimes uh, you're not able to pull off the vision, and I know what that's all about. <laughs> I do know what that's all about. What the hell? Everything is... 